Hi, my name is Dr. Mandel. Today we're going to talk about anterior forward carriage. That means where the head is going in a forward position. Think about all the hours. All the hours, every day, every week, every month, and many years of spending all that long time looking down, typing, texting, looking forward, and you're wondering why you're having neck problems, wondering why you're having muscle spasm, tension nerves, potentially tingling into the arms or hands, weakness, headaches, or any other symptom attributed to the back of the neck. The correct biomechanics are very important in what you do day to day. But most important, no matter what you do, you need to make sure that the center hole of your ear is in line with your shoulders. When this center point of your ear goes forward, for each degree it goes forward, it's going to maximize the amount of stress that your neck and shoulders have to hold up. So if you, if you look at how many hours that you've put into your neck in this position, we're going to show you an amazing exercise that we can retrain those muscles and retrain the brain, which is actually much more exciting. So here's our mission. Our mission is to target the proprioception organelles and they are located in the ligaments. Here's Kara. And Kara is going to demonstrate this particular exercise on how we can accomplish this correction for your rounded shoulders, your forward neck, and your bad posture, as well as your pain that you may be suffering from. Our mission is to reverse what you've been doing all these years. To reverse this position. That means to bring our head back and to target those proprioception organelles in the ligaments that we're going to actually find in the neck right now. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to ask her to come back and in the back of the head we just want her to barely bring her head back just enough to where she can feel her head in an extension position. Now understand when we stretch her head back we're stretching muscles, we're stretching ligaments, we're stretching even the windpipe, the throat. It may be a little discomfort breathing or you're actually catching your breath because we're stretching all the way down the muscles in the chest. But we're going to ask her to stay in that position and we're going to ask you to say after 20-30 seconds, do you feel okay now? Okay? She says yes. That means we're able to go to the next phase. If she says I'm dizzy, or it hurts, we're going to stop and you're not going to be a candidate for that exercise. But although most of you will be able to do this, the next step, we're going to bring her back about 50% more where about the middle of her neck is being supported. And after about 20 seconds, okay, we're going to ask her again, do you feel okay? Most likely at this point she will be okay. But right now she can feel stretching in the throat, okay? She may feel a little pulling down in the chest, maybe a little more discomfort to breathe because we're opening up that windpipe and we're putting the neck into a normal cervical curve the way the curve should be in. Do you feel okay? Okay, now we're going to go to the maximum. We're going to ask her to come all the way back. And now, the weight of gravity, the weight of her head being 12 pounds, she does not have to do anything. We're going to ask you do not try to lift your head. Do not try to push your head down. Just let the weight of gravity pull the neck down as we reverse that curve by stretching those proprioception organelles in the ligaments. That is going to help tell the brain that we're trying to reset. We're trying to reset of putting the neck back into the right position. That is our target here. Here is the goal. Ideally, I would tell you to start 30, 30 seconds to a minute and maybe the next day build up to about three minutes. Right now, I'm going to ask her to put her head back or to where it was, okay, so she can rest her neck. These proprioception organelles have to deal with proprioception with the brain. And what that means is this. Proprioception means that regardless of where your parts of your body are in space, your head, your neck, your shoulders, your back, your brain must understand where it's at and understand how to read what position it is in space. So, if these organelles, these proprioception organelles, 
we're always in this position and we can retrain it to go back into the other position by doing this exercise every day we can retrain the brain's ability to know where the neck is supposed to be and what that means is correction that means that the brain is actually going to help you correct the bad posture and help you feel well again hopefully real soon I hope you do this I hope it helps you if you have any questions feel free to contact me but most important make it a great day I'm Dr. Alan Mandel